Hello everybody, this is Skyflight44, aka Zach44, and today I'm playing Burnout Legends for a little bit of a leisure play. I just finished Burnout Revenge last week. I Actually, Burnout Revenge has completely uploaded and been released today. So, thought to myself, I have all this equipment to do, you know, PSP games. I kind of did a test video at the beginning of the month, well, the beginning of January, I might release this in February, early February, and, well, I haven't done anything with it. I bought the PSP, this PSP, because I kind of wanted to do PSP games, and I, at the moment, have, I believe, maybe 14 PSP games yeah, I just bought the city of today, so 14 PSP games. I haven't done a damn thing with them. So I thought a little bit of Burnout Legends. How about that? Now, Burnout Legends, before I do anything, so I can uh, concentrate more on the racing, Burnout Legends is basically uh, the Sonic Generations of the Burnout series came out the same day that Burnout Revenge was released. It pretty much had the tracks from Burnout 1 through 3, the cars from Burnout 1 through 3, with not not the same, what was it, um, not the exact same gameplay, but for the most part, a game that feels and tries to emulate Burnout 3. Doesn't do it perfectly, but it tries to do that with half the Burnout Revenge soundtrack. Now, is this a good game? Yes. Is this a good game on the PSP? Very much so. Does this really stand a chance against Burnout 3 and Burnout Revenge? Not at all. Now, a lot of people will say... Burnout 3, best Burnout game. I'm probably going to be one of those that actually will say, yes, Burnout 3 is probably my favorite in the entire series. Burnout 3, no matter what actually happens, I, I can actually go and play Burnout 3 and feel relaxed. That's probably the biggest reason why... Oh, shit. <laughs> That's probably the biggest reason why I actually very much enjoy playing Burnout 3, even though uh, Burnout Revenge... Nah, I, I really do love Burnout Revenge, but uh, Burnout Revenge frustrates me sometimes. I can go and then just play a uh, quick race or a road rage, compact, Silver Lake, try to get my uh, beat my highest score, I believe that was a 78 without crash, uh, and I only crashed once at the very end. Um, what well, was it, 86? I don't really remember. I have to go back and check. But um, I can play Burnout 3 without actually going and uh, throwing my controller. Oh, cool, pillar driller. But, uh, Burnout Revenge is great. It's just more frustrating. Now this game tries to be Burnout 3. You have your takedowns, you have pretty much everything that you had in Burnout 3. You even have the same tracks, the same cars, and they ripped every single crash event, I believe, out of Burnout 3. And that's the only thing I, I... Burnout 2 had crash junctions. Why couldn't you bring some of the crash junctions from Burnout 2? Granted, I've never actually played Burnout 2. So I don't know if it could have been as easily implemented like, well, Burnout uh, 3's crash junctions could have been. But... Burnout 2 had crash. Why not take something from Burnout 2? Now, uh, Burnout 1, uh, only has one track in this game. I forgot what it was. But, uh, Burnout 1 has one track. 
Burnout 2 has 6, and Burnout 3 has 10. Most of the cars are from Burnout 3, but they're also, hopefully, I, I don't, can't really be sure, but uh, cars from Burnout 1 and 2 should be on this game. Now, when I say this game, this game tries to emulate Burnout 3, but doesn't do it perfectly, there's a couple of different things that you could easily get away with when you know the um, physics and the uh, just how the game does collisions and all. You can get away with a lot in Burnout 3. You can't get away with stuff in this game as much. And there's also the uh, crash, uh, the crash cam, or what I should really say, the takedown cam, is um, a bit different in this game, unlike Burnout Revenge and Burnout uh, 3. In Burnout 3 and Revenge, the game will actively when you take somebody out, will actively try and go and make sure that you're not going to crash while in the actual burn up, the takedown cam. And at the same time, it will also try to steer you into a path in which you're not going to crash immediately once you got out of it. It'll also give you invincibility frames so that if you do, you're not going to immediately crash. That isn't, it's not perfect. It's more like 98% of the time it works perfectly in Burnout 3 and Revenge. I can count on my hands how many times those games have screwed me over. In this game, that's not the case. You I have crashed while in takedown cam. I have crashed many times while getting out of takedown cam. And to be honest, I I'm talking like only 80% of the time this game's perfect in doing that. 80, 85% of the time. That is way too many times where the game screws me over. Granted, it is a PSP game, and I will give it that leeway, but if you really want me to say that this game's as great as what people actually thought it was, um, no. There are a couple of things that get to me. The world tour in this game doesn't suck, but frustrates me. And this isn't Burnout Revenge frustrating, in which it's, in which it's actually, I feel accomplished when I actually finish something, when I get a perfect score. No, this is much more annoying. This isn't Burnout 3 frustrating either, because Burnout 3 frustrating was basically... Well, it wasn't non-existent, but it was very infrequent. This is frequent frustration in the world tour. The game just wants so much out of you. God damn it. The higher and higher you go in rank, from the uh, compact to the muscle to the, well, the coupe and sports. Oh, it's one, when you get into sports, I... That's when the game starts giving you shit. It expects precision in a game that is based off of a chaotic gameplay. The main... One of the main appeals of Burnout is crashing. It's taking people out. Something that is chaotic and they want precision in it. They want you to do all of these things in a set amount of time. For the most part, I hate time limits in this game. Oh, fuck the time limits. 
it wouldn't be so bad in some of them like Pursuit. Except, it is bad. The, uh, I, I might show you one of them. But, um, basically Pursuit, you have one car, and you have to take it out in a certain period of time to get uh, well, silver, gold, and all that. Well, trying to get that, trying to get the gold, trying to get silver is not all that bad, but trying to get the gold is a test of your patience and luck on higher difficulties. Because think, think trying to take somebody out that's much faster than you. I, I'm actually going to go and show you. That's about the same speed as you. Uh, do I have one in uh, Super? No. Oh, I do have one per uh, Pursuit. Well, I was... The one I uh, um, I would really be talking about is one from uh, the Sports one, but the Sports one has, like... It's a fucking minute you have to actually go and uh, beat this guy down. And 25 seconds of it you're playing catch up with him which only gives you 35 seconds to actually beat him down your opponent takes way too much damage oh it's another minute oh cool but your opponent takes way too much damage oh this one's not going to get away as much the other one took me forever oh nope scratch that this one's going to take forever to go and catch as well. Okay, 18 seconds, not 25. But uh, you get too far, it goes into that. And, and you, you basically have to go and take this guy out within an actual minute. It takes way too much damage. And the thing about it, he just hit me. When you do when you do something like an actual um, road rage, you are going to go. And eventually, when you're taking people out and stuff, you're going to go and you're going to uh, what was it called? You're going to go into damage critical. You're getting damage as you're beating your opponents. However, in this year. You have to be the one doing the damage. If it, an actual uh, collision is not within your favor, your opponent is not going to get damaged at all. And there are a lot of times that you could have sworn that um, your hit that hit should have been in your favor, but it wasn't. Now look at this. They ask you to do this in a minute. Oh yeah, that's right. If you crash before you do anything to your opponent, well, sorry, you're fucked. Oh, right there. That probably would have been, on once again, another time I actually beat him down. That would have been twice that I would have beat him down. But because if you crash. And even though you were about to go and take, you just took somebody up, but you crash. You don't get any reward. Whatever you're going to get for your reward is gone. Let's try that. Oh, no. Uh, no, screw it. I'm not even going to try it. I just despise the World Tour and the pursuit. The road rages were getting, uh, just getting to me because, you know, three minutes get 25 takedowns with a PSP. That's kind of difficult. Oh, no, no. I'm going to do regular racing. That's generally how I... Uh, I just feel much better doing regular racing. Coop, because uh, sports and super... I crash too much, and it's... I haven't said everything I want to say about this game, but this... This game is nowhere near as good as Burnout 3 and Burnout Revenge were.
and while that's not a problem, this is a good game for a PSP game. I don't know why I'm playing this at the moment. I, I, I have a PS2 right in front of me. It's easier for me to go and record a PS2 game than it is to go and record a PSP game. Hell, I have most everything I'm left on Burnout Revenge and Burnout 3. I don't know why I'm playing this game. Other than the fact that I kind of want to show this game off. That's it. Now, um, there's one other thing I wanted to actually go and uh, talk about. It was a uh, it was a comment that I actually got on a, a a Burnout Revenge video, in which I was um, there was a question on what is my favorite uh, well maybe not my favorite Burnout game, but um, do I prefer Burnout Revenge over Burnout Three? Or do I prefer Burnout 3 over Burnout Revenge? Now I've... pretty much said this before, but... Every single time I go and play Burnout 3, I start to want to go and play Burnout Revenge. When I go and play Burnout Revenge, I start to want to go back to Burnout 3. And this cycle doesn't end. Every single time I go and play Burnout 3, I, I, I just like things that were in Burnout Revenge. And every single time I go back to Burnout Revenge, I just feel like I want to go back and play Burnout 3 beats. Both of them, ha both of them are amazing games. Oh, shit. Both of them are amazing games. I just think that for some things I like Burnout Revenge more. Others I like Burnout 3. Burnout 3 has the better soundtrack. Burnout 3 just feels more uh, just comfortable, more um, relaxing. Burnout Revenge is just an adrenaline fest, has a much better. It may not have better racing, but uh, I, I believe it has a much better crash gameplay. I love the crash uh, mode in Revenge much more. So much more than in Burnout 3 in this game. The Crash Breaker races, Crash Breaker Eliminator and Road Rage. I love those. Not to mention, even though there's less tracks in Burnout Revenge, I, I very much enjoyed the large amount of variety in the tracks themselves. How they were actually made, the fact that there's all these different shortcuts and different uh, ways you can actually get through the actual tracks. Not to mention, not to mention just the themes. Um, granted, there were a lot of different themes in uh, Burnout 3, but they, they were, they wasn't as distinct as they were in uh, Burnout Revenge. G granted, um, one of the reasons why I like Need for Speed Underground so much is uh, quite. It, it's in Burnout 3 as well. Uh, just that you have all these different tracks and they interconnect with other tracks. And that you might just go on a, uh, like, Kings of the Road will uh, take you from Silver Lake to Waterfront to Downtown. And you see how those tracks are interconnected. And it's just cool. It's just, in my opinion, pretty cool. I, uh... I just... Visually... It's interesting. But... Burnout Revenge... And, it, and all of its different tracks were pretty good as well. I, I have a hard time actually going and saying which one's better. This is kind of like... 
Ratchet and Clank go in commando and Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal for me. I have a really difficult time saying which one I would I would prefer. But um, to be honest, gameplay wise, I go I go from one to the other, back to the other, and again and the cycle continues. I, I the only reason I'll say I prefer Burnout 3 more is the soundtrack. I like half the soundtrack of Burnout Revenge. There are very few songs on Burnout 3 that I can actually say I hate. I love pretty much 90% of the music on that game. And it's one of the reasons why I, I just absolutely adore that game. 44 pieces of music. And like 38 of them I very much enjoy. A good soundtrack can make a racing game, trust me. Especially if it's some kind of simulation racing game, holy crap. I mean, the very idea of a racing game and going around a circuit three, four times that's actually hard a lot of to a lot of people that's kind of difficult to do in their mind granted it's a lot more fun than uh, they actually think but that's kind of hard to do wouldn't you get bored ideas like that a good soundtrack can keep you from getting bored going around a circuit Granted, I've never been like that, where I've actually uh, disliked circuit racing. The only game, the only racing game I've ever thought to myself, circuit racing is probably the worst part of it, is uh, Need for Speed Underground 2. I don't very much like the circuit racing Need for Speed Underground 2 as much as uh, the sprints. The, uh, the dra I've never really cared too much for drag, even in Underground 1. Mainly because I suck at it. Well, I don't really suck at it, but... I feel as if I'm... I'm restarting the game as much as I would be on a, uh... Burnout Revenge video if I'm playing... Drag. Another thing in this game. You can be... At a lot of the time... Yeah, right there. A lot of the time, and um, and Burnout 3, and even Revenge, you can easily just coast on the wall to help you not act, uh, to make sure that you're not actually going to crash. And this game, it seems as if the uh, if the walls have sharp edges right in the middle of them. And if you try to coast on them, even some of the Burnout 3 tracks, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, what was it, uh, Island Paradise, I believe was a track. There, there was uh, one part of the wall that you could easily coast through on uh, Burnout 3, but if you do it on this one, you're going to crash. And it gets to me, because there's just these little nicks in the uh, wall that if you touch, you crash. And it gets to me. Because that's kind of what I do on burnout games. I coast along the wall to make sure I don't actually go and uh, collide with the oncoming traffic. Or even the ongoing traffic. I, I just... There are a lot of things about this game that just get to me. It's the little things with the, uh... Gameplay. Again, I got, I hit it right there! That's the second lap! And it's happened to me twice! Yeah. Yeah, I'm... This game gets to me. It's still a great game. 
It's based off of Burnout 3. Of course it's, for the most part, going to be a good game. It's just that... Ugh, I would rather be playing Burnout 3. That was my fault. Or Burnout Revenge. Actually, now that I think about it... I, I really wonder... Um, how I view Burnout 3 and Burnout Revenge is the fact that uh, Burnout Revenge is not Burnout 3. In a lot of areas, Burnout Revenge is not Burnout 3. And sequels... They're, um... A lot of people will say that a sequel is not good because it's too similar to another one. Example, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Way too similar to Ocarina of Time, even though I prefer Twilight Princess to Ocarina of Time. Or, games can be too much of a departure. And, and because of that, they're kind of bad. My opinion? Ratchet and Clank all for one when you consider the rest of the Ratchet and Clank franchise. Add on to that, Secret Agent Clank to the rest of the Ratchet and Clank franchise. I've seen a lot of people go on it and say that Burnout Revenge just didn't have that spark Burnout 3 did. To be honest, I enjoy Burnout Revenge based more on its own merits than how how similar it, it could be to Burnout 3. This game is supposed to be incredibly similar to it. And it, it, it doesn't really hit me that I kind of like the game because of it.